During that time, uh, Larnell had been singing so much, so often, so hard, putting so much into it that he actually lost his voice. I went to doctors. I saw doctors all over the country, and, and I went to uh, speech pathologists and anybody that could help me. I had no endurance. I couldn't. Um, uh, the very the top half of my voice was just gone, and that was really my own doing from from overuse. But I remember getting home after getting off the road, and I found myself pr pretty sick and uh, anemic and really in need of some, some attention, and not only just vocally, and out of, not only just physically, but also emotionally and spiritually. Larnell was without a voice and a job for a year. During this time, the challenges of life continued to test his faith. His wife became pregnant with their first child, and they were struggling financially to make payments on a new house. Discouraged and frustrated, Larnell began experiencing God's grace and provision in a brand new way. I remember uh, just taking baths in the Word. I picked that Bible up and I just started going through it. And I've always loved Scripture and always loved studying the Bible, but this was different. I just needed a shower in God's love. And as I read the Word, I came to a point where the why me and the, the, the disappointment and the anger about all of this and all of those mixed emotions came to a head. And they came to a head like this. I got to the point where I could say, Lord, if you are going to allow my voice to be taken, then you must have something awfully good coming. I still understand from that experience that God is the giver of all good and perfect gifts. And I have to tell you, when I go back to the time that I lost my voice, I know that God was taking me to school in terms of, of my own personal experience with Him. I really needed to know that I could trust Him. And whatever you're going through, I pray you see the light of day through it. But I do know that if not for the storm, if not for the storm, I wouldn't know when the sun was shining. If, if not for the storm, I simply would not know God as Father and provider and, and, and lover of my soul, the one who, uh, who, who has refused to let me go. And I am so thankful.